awesome. Where are you? Oh, you're on mute. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I think you're on. Now, now you're off. Where are you? Uh oh, don't go away. Did it work? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Muted everybody. Uh, Where, you're in a sauna? Yeah, I have a sauna in my house. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been pretty nice actually. Thank you. Yeah. Are you local? There you go. I'm actually from Canada. You're in Canada now? Yeah. How did you get this from my post or? Yeah, your post. Cool. I saw. I actually I I just gone for a long run and uh, I was hoping there was going to be a class right after because it's always really good on the knees. But yeah. Cool. All right. So I'm going to teach, and I've got Sarah on. We have, um, I think, a couple minutes. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we do have a couple minutes. Um, cool. So, Sarah, if you I say you see your thumbs up, Sarah. So if you can, do you mind turning your video on, Sarah? Jeff, do you mind keeping yours on? Oh, of course not. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. Once we start, I will, um, I'll mute people that are on um this hasn't really been a huge class um yeah so it's okay so but we still have a few minutes but anyway i'm gonna teach um i'm not gonna do it hey sarah and where are you coming to us from i don't hear you <laughs> you're not muted though i don't think so it doesn't say that you are I can't hear you though. You're Huntersville? Okay, yeah, so she's local. All righty, cool. So I'm going to teach to you, I'm not going to do it. When we get started, I'm going to teach to you just like we're in a class. So Jeff, have you done, you've done Bikram? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually a Bikram teacher, so. Oh, well, see, I know that, um, because if you got it from my post and we're, yeah. most of, uh, uh, but okay, still wanted to ask. Okay, cool. Um, Great, then I'm gonna just teach like we're in class, okay? I'm not gonna do it with you, I'm just gonna keep going. And when I do a when I do an hour class, yep. um, I really try, so it, it just kind of depends. Sarah, you've done this practice before? I wanna, yeah, okay, because I still can't hear you, but okay, cool. Um, so what I try to do is I actually try to do everything still twice. Um, so you're going to get a, especially you, Jeff, and your hot sauna, uh, a bang in class because we're going to just keep moving through. Um, but it's not, it's not going to hopefully not feel rushed. I mean, it's fine. I, I will do just one breathing. Um, the couple body breathing at the end is just one as well. Um, I flow some things together and, um, there's a couple things that I just do once, but, um, try to get all the. Good stuff then twice. Sounds good. It's all good stuff. So yeah, we're still gonna wait just a, another minute to see if anybody else jumps on. Yay, I'm glad you're here. Jeff, are you teaching anywhere? Uh, not, I, like normally, so I have another job where I work a week on week off. So I usually teach one class a week on Saturday mornings, but obviously with this going on, uh, it's, been, it's been a little tough, so. Yeah. I haven't jumped on the whole Zoom thing yet. I don't actually have a laptop or anything. I just have my phone, so yeah. it's a little difficult, yeah, so. Well, that's, that's enough to get your practice in. I love your setup. That is really great. It's actually, it's pretty funny. My little sister, she's also a teacher, actually, and she just, uh, she just set up one in her house as well, so we got two of us as on this. <laughs> Kramer, Kramer. I, um... Kramer, he was a teacher of mine back in, in, in Maryland when I first started. I can't remember his first name now. I'll have to, to think about it. But no relation to someone that owned a studio in Maryland? No, no, from Canada, all Canadians. <laughs> all righty, I'm going to mute you guys and we're going to get started, okay? Right. Awesome. So come on up to standing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Very good. Alrighty then. Pranayama breathing, I'm going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, bringing a little bit of a constriction through the back of your throat. Toes and heels touch. Interlock the fingers, glue the knuckles right underneath the chin, let your shoulders relax. And begin, inhale, elbows lift up. Inhale, breathing through your nose, spine straight, ribs visible, full lungs. Exhale, head goes back. Exhale, breathing, look way to the wall behind you. Squeeze your palms, forearms touch, elbows touch. Inhale, head comes down. Inhale, breathing into the nose. Suck your stomach in tight, see the rib cage visible, fill your lungs to the top, hold it. Exhale, head goes back. I stay open, mouth wide open. H A ha sound. Lift your arms up away from your chest and elbows forward. Inhale, head comes down. Stomach, stomach, stomach. Compression of the abdominal walls, contraction of the abdominal muscles. Suck it in, tighten it up, hold it. Exhale, head relaxes back. Just drop your head back, Sarah. Look all the way behind you like you're getting your hair washed. Squeeze your palms, stretch your elbows forward away from you and elbows touch. Inhale, head comes down. Slowly bring the head down. Inhale, breathing through the nose. Chin stays on the knuckles. Elbows stay lifted up, lift up, stretch up. That's it. Exhale, head relaxes back. Head back, squeeze your palms like you're making a fist. Then bring your forearms to touch towards your bookshelf, elbows forward and elbows touch. That's it. Inhale, head comes down. Inhale, breathing into the nose. Suck your stomach in. As you inhale through the nose, the elbows lift up like you're a butterfly. Elbows lift up, stretch up. Exhale, head goes back. Head drops back and elbows stretch forward with your mouth wide open like you're fogging up a mirror. H-A, ha. Elbows touch. Inhale, slowly head comes down. Slower you go, the better you do. Suck your stomach in, feel the rib cage stretch, full lungs. Exhale, head back, head drops back. Weight in your heels, keep your thighs contracted. Squeeze those palms together like a fist, Sarah. Elbows stretch forward towards your bookcase and then elbows touch. That's it. Now inhale, bring the head down so palms are flat. Chin into the knuckles, suck the stomach and spread the rib cage, inflate your lungs. Exhale, head drops all the way back and just start squeezing those palms. Open your mouth wide as you pull the belly in. Breathe all of the air out. Elbows forward away from you. Elbows touch. Inhale, head comes down. We're just going to do three more. Stomach in. Stomach in. When you think the lungs are just about to pop, take more air and hold it. Exhale, head back, keep those thighs contracted. So lift the kneecaps, feel the weight in the heels, belly in, arms up parallel to the floor, elbows touch. Two more, inhale, slowly head comes down. Every single time, increasing your inhale just a little bit. Stomach in, increase the inhale until you feel dizzy, hold it. Exhale, head relaxes back. So make sure all of the air comes out of your lungs right here. Belly in more, arms up more, elbows touch. Inhale, last one. Inhale, breathing through the nose. Inhale, relax the shoulders, elbows up. Bring your elbows back. Exhale, awesome. Slowly head goes back and belly in. Squeeze those palms. When you think the lungs are empty, pull more breath in, elbows touch, empty the lungs and arms rest by your side. Very good. Lick your lips and swallow a couple times. If you like, roll the neck and shoulders if you want to, feels nice. Alrighty, so for the rest of the class, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. So no more mouth breathing. So in the nose, out the nose. Half moon pose, hands to feet pose. Arms over head sideways, palms together. Interlock the fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs cross, squeeze the palms. No gap in the palms, elbows locked, arms and ears touch. Take a deep breath, stretch up, go right and left several times. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Feel stretching down both sides of the body up to your fingertips. Like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Yeah, that's it. Right and left. And then come on back, stop in the middle. 
elbows locked, arms always touch with the ears, no gap between biceps, arms and ears. Hips a little forward and upper body leans back, weight in the heels, elbows locked, chin up, take a deep breath, full of lungs, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, continuously push your hips to the left, beyond your flexibility. Feel the tremendous stretching down the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes, hips come forward, upper body leans back more, weight in your heels. Bring your left tip forward, two hips in one line, right shoulder forward, open up your chest, come down, push, push and push. Inhale, breathing, slowly come on back up, stop in the middle, squeeze your palms, elbows locked, chin up, deep breath, full long, stretch up, try to touch the ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the left, without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right, beyond your flexibility, feel the tremendous stretching down the right side of your body. All over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes, hips come forward, upper body leans back more, weight in your heels. Bring your right hip forward, two hips in one line. Left shoulder forward, open your chest, come down, push, push and push. Inhale, breathing slowly, come on back up, stop in the middle. Take a deep breath, full of lungs for your back bend, drop your head back, far as it goes, look to the floor behind you, bring your arms back immediately, touch the wall behind you, bending your spine backwards, awesome, coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine backward bending, push the upper body back, try to fall down backwards, maximum body weight in your heels, inhale, push, stomach, legs, hips, everything push forward, arms back, look back, go back, fall back, way back, more back, change, inhale, breathing, that was beautiful, parastasana's next, bend your knees, and stretch your body forward from the lower spine and just put your fingers on the floor in front of you and start moving your hips several times. Right and left, right and left, right and left. So Diana has now joined us. Welcome, Diana. So we're just on our first set. Half moon pose with hands to feet pose. And if you feel comfortable turning on your video portion, Go right ahead, I'd love to see you. So just warming up, right and left, right and left. All righty, parastasana, toes and heels touch. Bend your knees, grab your heels from behind your heels, underneath your heels. Step on all five fingers of each hand. You want the two little baby pinkies touch right side by side, elbows behind your legs on the calf muscles. Get a good grip. Pull on your heels and stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor, stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, face on the legs below your knees. Pull on your heels, push your knees back. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling all over the backs of your legs, inside out, bones to skin, coccyx to your toes. Pull on your heels, push your knees back, lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, lock your knees, roll forward, lock your knees, eyes open, last chance, lock your knees and change arms and ears together those look great slowly come all the way back up beautiful and arms by your side relax and breathe back up set arms back over your head sideways palms together interlock the fingers release your index fingers thumbs crossed make sure you're squeezing the palms no gap Elbows locked, keep your chin up. Take a deep breath, full long stretch up. Try to touch the ceiling, keep your stretch. And in a straight line, slowly bend your body to the right, but don't lose your stretch. Keep lifting up, stretching up, belly in as you bend. And now push those hips out to the left. Keep your thighs contracted. You have to create the stretch all through the left side of the body. Hips forward, upper body back, weight in the heels. Left hip forward. Right shoulder forward, chin up, stomach in, come down, push, push, and push. Inhale, breathing, slowly come on back up, squeeze those palms, keep your chin up. Take a deep breath, full long, stretch first, all the way to the ceiling, and in a straight line, slowly bend your body to the left, keep squeezing those palms and lifting up, out of your waist, do not lose that stretch as you're bending, elbows stay locked, push your hips out, beyond your flexibility, keep your thighs contracted, stretching all right side body, hips forward, upper body back, weight in the heels, right hip forward, left shoulder forward, keep your chin up, come down, push, 
push, push. Inhale, breathing, slowly come back up. All right, our second back bend. You know what to expect. Take a deep breath, full lungs, drop your head back. Let the head hang heavy. Look as far back as possible. Squeeze your palms. Take another deep breath, stretch up, lift your chest and bring your arms back. Keep your chest lifted and go back. Touch the wall behind you, bending lower back, middle back, your upper back, total spine backward bending. Push the upper body back, body weight in your heels. Now inhale, push, stomach, legs, hips, everything push forward, arms back, look back, go back, fall back, way back, more back and change Jeff that is gorgeous slowly come on back up bend your knees and stretch your body forward for your Padahastasana so stretching forward so arms and ears stay together as you bend the knees and come all the way down and move your hips right and left right and left right and left paying really close attention here to that low back you're much more warmed up and pay a lot of attention to your head our heads are heavy and when we try to hold it up, we're preventing more of that stretch right in the neck and upper spine. Second set, toes and heels touch, bend your knees, wrap your forearms all the way around your calf muscles. So the little soft skin part of your forearm is glued to the back of your calf, slip the fingers underneath your heels and drop your head. Roll weight into the toes, pull on your heels, lift your hips up at the same time, stretch the crown of your head down towards your toes. Whole upper body flat on your legs, no room for light or air. Bring your shoulders away from your ears. That's it. Continuously keep pulling, pulling in the object of stretching. Pull on your heels, push your knees back, lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, roll forward, lock your knees. Shoulders away from your ears, last chance, lock your knees and change arms and ears together slowly come back up with a straight spine arms and ears together same way you went down and slowly come up arms by your side relax and breathe awkward pose utkatasana right foot steps to the right six inches apart heels invisible so it looks like a perfect letter h it's about two fist width sarah if you need to measure in between your big toes <clears throat> you reach right down and measure that size right in between the feet and heels invisible behind the toes. Arms up, you're low to the floor, five fingers touch. Elbows locked, tricep muscles nice and tight. Stretch the fingertips forward. Exhale, stomach in, sit down. Feet flat position, spine straight to begin with, 100% body weight in your heels. Lift your chest up, bend your total spine backward bending, bring the upper body back, suck your stomach in, compression of the abdominal walls, contraction of the abdominal muscles, suck it in, tighten it up, hold it. Rib cage visible, open your knees, six inches inside toes, heels, knees, hands, chin up, chest up, lean back, go back, more back, you're trying to fall down backwards and change, slowly come back up, keep your arms there, second part, good job, stand up on top of the tippy toes, maximum high as you can go, like a ballerina, stretch the crown of your head to the ceiling, sit down on top of your toes, spine straight, start to finish, hips and head against the wall behind you. Sit down halfway to your hips, touch the chair, bring your knees up, chest up, upper body leaning back, spine stays straight. Come up higher on your toes, knees towards the ceiling. Don't go below the chair, you're sitting in the chair. And change, come on back up, rest your heels down, keep your arms there. So we have one more part here, a little bit on the toes. The heels are gonna come up, but bring the knees together. Exhale, stomach in with a straight spine. Sit down as slow as possible, at least 10 counts. All the way down, leaning against the wall. Continuously stretch your spine to the ceiling. Half inch gap between hips and heels. Bring your knees together and forward. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to your legs. Spine perfectly straight. Squeeze your knees, inhale and slowly come back up. Nice job. Rest your heels down, right foot goes back to the place, arms by your side and breathe. We are gonna do a second set, right foot steps back out to the right, six inches apart, heels invisible. Glue those feet flat, arms up, parallel low to the floor, five fingers touch. Make sure you're squeezing the fingers, elbows locked. Deep breath, stomach in, sit down. Feet flat position, spine straight to begin with, 100% body weight in the heels. Lift your chest up. Bring your total spine backward bending, upper body back. Oh, suck your stomach in, see the rib cage and open your knees. Six inches, stay inside, toes, heels, knees, hands, chin up, 
chest up, lean back, go back, more back, you're trying to fall down backwards. And change, come on back up, keep your arms there. Stand up on top of the tippy toes. So truly take your head and stretch it up and then sit down on top of your toes. Stay high with the heels, hips and head touching the wall behind you. Sit down halfway till your hips touch the chair. Bring the knees up, chest up, upper body leaning back, spine stay straight, come up higher on the toes, knees towards the ceiling. Don't go below the chair, you're sitting in the chair. And change, inhale, awesome, Sarah. Slowly come on back up, good job. Rest your heels down, leave your arms there. Come up a little bit on the toes, just a little bit off of the heels and squeeze your knees. Exhale, stomach in with a straight spine, sit down. So as your hips are coming down, stretch the crown of the head up. As the fingertips stretch forward, lean the upper body back and come all the way down. Half inch gap between hips and heels. Knees together and forward. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to your legs, spine straight. Squeeze your knees. Inhale and slowly come all the way back up. Perfect. Rest your heels down. Right foot back, arms by your side. Eagle pose, just one of these. Toes and heels touch. Bring your arms over your head sideways and right arm underneath your left. Cross your arms and twist like ropes. Palms together in front of your face. The right elbow underneath, beautiful and twist at the wrist. Great job. Pull your elbows down. Try to get the fingertips below the nose. So pull the elbows down. Suck your stomach in. Sit down. Hips in the chair. Upper body leans back. Stay down there. Bring your right leg up over your left leg as high as possible. Twist like ropes and bring your right foot underneath the left calf muscle. All five toes visible in the mirror. Sit down more. Twist like ropes. Arch your upper body back. Knees to the right. Upper body left. Feet, knees, elbows, hands. Everything in one line. If your foot's coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, Bring your upper body back. Suck your stomach in. Sit down, open your elbows down, upper body back at the end. And change, toes and heels touch, arms over your head. Now left arm underneath your right. Cross your arms and twist like ropes. Palms together in front of your face, yeah. Pull your elbows down. Suck your stomach in and sit down. Hips in the chair, upper body leans back, stay down there. Bring your left leg up over your right leg as high as possible. Twist like ropes and bring your left foot underneath your right calf muscle. All five toes are visible. Sit down more, twist like ropes, upper body back. Knees to the left, upper body right. Feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line. If your foot coming out, sit down more. If you're losing the balance, bring your upper body back. Suck your stomach in. Sit down more, put your elbows down, upper body back at the end. And change, toes and heels touch, arms over your head. Rest your arms by your side. And then have a quick sip of water. If you think you would like one, I'm gonna wet my whistle. Alrighty. Standing head to knee. We're gonna do two sets and I'm gonna walk you through a setup on the first one. So toes and heels touch. Shift your weight to your left leg, wipe your hands. Lift your right leg up, thigh parallel to the floor, heel below your knee, flex your right foot. So the leg is bit, Sarah. So the knee is bit at a 90 degree angle. There you go. Now your left leg, solid. Sorry. <laughs> Suck your stomach in and grab your right foot in front of you. Three inches below the toes, 10 fingers interlocked. Get a good grip. Left leg, solid. Concrete lamppost, unbroken, no knee. Take a deep breath and slowly, gently lift your left, your right leg up. Stretch it forward until it's parallel to the floor. Keep your standing knee locked. Take a deep breath. Kick your right leg, heel forward. Turn the foot in from the ankle towards your face. Make sure you have both knees locked and you're balancing. Both knees locked, start bending the elbows down towards the floor. So your elbows are touching your calf muscle. Eventually, elbows go below your calf muscle. And change, come out opposite way you went in. Toes and heels touch, good. Other side, shift your weight to your right leg, wipe your hands, lift your left leg up, thigh parallel to the floor, heel below the knee, flex your left foot, right leg, straighten that leg, lift your kneecap, contract your thigh. Tuck your stomach in and grab your left foot in front of you. Three inches below the toes, 10 fingers interlocked, including the thumb, right leg solid concrete, left post unbroken, no knee. Take a deep breath, slowly, gently lift your left leg up. Stretch it forward until it's parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Standing knee locked. 
Take a deep breath. Kick your left leg, heel forward. Turn the foot in from the ankle. All the five toes towards your face. Both knees locked in your balancing. Then start bending the elbows down towards the floor. So your elbows touch your calf muscle. Eventually, elbows go below the calf muscle. And change. Come back out. Hands on the hips, hips forward, gently upper body leans back. Nice little back bend. And we'll get right into second set. Toes and heels touch. Shift your weight to your left leg, wipe your hands, suck your stomach in and grab your right foot. 10 fingers interlocked, three inches below your toes. Get a good grip. Make sure your left leg is locked. Take a deep breath and slowly, gently lift your right leg up, stretch it forward until it's parallel to the floor. Keep your standing knee locked. Take a deep breath, kick the heel forward, shift from the hip. Heel forward, foot turns in, both knees locked and you're balancing, then only start bending the elbows down towards the floor. To your elbows, touch your calf muscle. Eventually they go below, it's still balancing. Then bring body down, chest down, head down. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach and touch your forehead to your knee. And change, come back out. Toes and heels touch. Excellent, shift your weight to your right leg, wipe your hands. Suck your stomach in and grab your left foot in front of you. 10 fingers interlocked, get a good grip. Right leg, make sure that that knee is locked. Deep breath and slowly, gently lift your left leg up. Stretch it forward until it's parallel to the floor. Make sure your standing knee is locked. Kick your left leg, heel forward. So you're flexing that foot and then toes towards the face. Both knees locked into balancing, then only start bending the elbows down towards the floor to your elbows touch the calf muscle. Eventually go below, it's still your balancing. Body down, chest down, head down. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach and touch your forehead to your knee and change come on back out good job toes and heels touch another small back bend here if you would like place the hands on the hips hips forward gently upper body goes back okay standing bow dandiyamana danyarasana so please be careful of this hand grip okay so right hand comes up palm facing the ceiling elbow touching the body just turn it out like you're serving a platter and drop it down like you're giving blood and now just pick the foot in, up and hold it inside. That is it, awesome. Left arm comes up, chin close to your shoulder, left knee lock, knees together to start. Take a deep breath and charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring the body down from the lower spine so chest and abdomen are parallel to the floor. Continuously kick your left foot up, foot comes over the top of your head. Two feet in one line, kick back. Right shoulder behind your left shoulder, invisible. Stretch your left fingertips forward. Try to touch your shoulder to your chin. Kicking and stretching equal simultaneous 50-50. If you lose the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Bring your body down more, stretch forward more. Try to touch the mirror, kick back more, kick harder. The harder you kick, you balance forever. Body down, kick up one more time. And change, come out. Toes and heels touch. That was lovely. Let's do the other side. Left hand comes up, palm facing the ceiling, elbow touching the body, bring it out. Drop it down and hold the foot inside at the ankle. Thumb with your index finger, get a good grip. Right arm comes up in front, chin close to your shoulder, right knee lock, bring the knees together to start. Take a deep breath and go. Charge your body forward simultaneously, kick your left leg back and up. Bring the body down from the lower spine, so chest and abdomen are parallel to the floor. Continuously kick your left foot up, foot comes over the top of your head, two feet in one line. Kick back, left shoulder behind the right shoulder, invisible. Stretch your right fingertips forward. Try to touch your shoulder to your chin. Kicking and stretching, equal simultaneous, 50-50. If you lose the balance, kick harder, body down more, stretch forward more, try to touch the mirror, kick back, kick harder. The harder you kick, you balance over, body down, kick up one more time. And change, kick right on out. Beautiful control, toes and heels touch, arms by your side. Second set, bring your right hand up and out, same hand grip, drop it down and hold the foot inside 
at the ankle, ankle bone. Bring your left arm up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder, left knee lock, knees together. Keep your chin and chest up. Nice, proud posture. Take a deep breath and go. Charge your body forward simultaneously. Kick your right leg back and up as hard as possible. Body down, chest and abdomen parallel to the floor, kick back right shoulder behind your left shoulder. Stretch your left fingertips forward. Touch your shoulder to your chin. Kicking, stretching, equal simultaneous. 50-50 if you lose the balance. Kick harder, body down more. Stretch forward more. Kick back, kick harder, kick up. And change. Kick out with control. Toes and heels touch. Last one. Left hand comes up, bring it out. And that same good hand grip right on the ankle. Thumb with index finger, bring your right arm up in front of you. Chin close to your shoulder, right knee lock, knees together, chin and chest up. Take a deep breath and go. Charge your body forward simultaneously. Kick your left leg back and up as hard as possible. Foot just creeps right over the middle of your head. Body down now, chest and abdomen parallel to the floor. Kick back. Left shoulder behind your right shoulder. Stretch your fingertips forward. Try to touch the shoulder to your chin. Kicking and stretching, equal simultaneous. 50-50 if you lose the balance, kick harder. Body down more, stretch forward more. Kick back, kick harder, kick up. And change, kick out with control. Toes and heels touch. Arms by your side. Fantastic. One balancing stick. Come to the back of your mat and towel, Tula Dandasana. I am actually gonna clap over here. So the moment you hear that clap, that's when you step forward, toes and heels touch. Arms over your head sideways, palms together, interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Keep a nice tight grip, don't lose that grip. Elbows locked, arms touching with the ears throughout the posture. Chin away from your chest, body back a couple inches, deep breath, right leg steps forward, big step. Lock both knees. Elbows lock and then come down. Body, leg, chest, head, everything comes down parallel to the floor. You look like a capital letter T. Charge your body forward. Bring your left leg up. Lock your knee. Point your toes. Bite on leg up. Stretch, stretch, and stretch. And change. Slowly come on back up. That's it, Sarah. Stretch up. Elbows lock. Chin away from your chest. Body back a couple inches. Deep breath. Left leg steps forward. Big step, lock both knees, arms and ears together and come down. Every muscle contracted, bring the whole body down parallel to the floor. Keep your chin forward, look forward, stretch forward, right leg up, point the toes, stretch, stretch and stretch. And change, slowly come on back up. Toes and heels touch, arms by your side and breathe. Cool. So however you want to turn you're going to be taking a big step so um sarah you probably want to face this way we're going to take a big step to the right yeah okay we're going to do the, the three separate leg stretching postures together uh, so toes and heels touch standing separate leg stretching arms over your head sideways right leg step to the right four feet distance. At the same time, arms come down parallel to the floor. Two heels in one line, feet slightly pigeon-toed. Suck your stomach in and stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Chin forward, look forward, and keep both knees locked. And grab your heels from the outside. Step on all five fingers of each hand, thumb included with your index finger. If you can't grab your heels, grab the outsides of your feet. And then pull as hard as possible, stretching your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Both knees should be locked throughout the posture. Roll forward like a wheel, body weight in your toes, and try to touch your forehead on the floor. If your forehead's not touching the floor, you can open your legs more or just be patient. The spine will stretch, coccyx to the neck, forehead touching the floor between your feet. First your legs stretch, then the hips, then the low spine, the whole spine, the whole Full body stretching, 360 degrees, inside out, bones to skin, coccyx to your toes, coccyx to your forehead, chin forward, look forward, roll forward, pull harder, keep pulling, touch your forehead to the floor, and change, slowly come all the way back up, stay there for triangle pose, hips forward, upper body leans back, turn your right foot out to the right, all the way, 
even a half of an inch more. Make sure that that right foot is parallel to the edge of your mat. Two heels on one line. Deep breath, bend your right knee and sit down. Bounce, bounce, bounce. You want to get that right thigh bicep parallel to the floor. Again, hips forward, upper body back, lean back, open your arms, chest lift, spine straight in the center. Deep breath and move both arms. At the same time, right elbow in front of your right knee. Stretch your right hand down, fingertips in between the big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. No pressure on the floor with the fingertips. Look to the ceiling, chin to shoulder, profile visible. Take a deep breath. Stretch your left arm up. Right arm stretches down. Both arm shoulders stretch each other in opposite directions. Natural human traction. Bring your left tip forward with your elbow. Push your right knee back. Turn, twist the upper body spine. Twist left knee lock, left foot flat on the floor. Change. Slowly come back up. Straighten that right leg, turn the toes forward, hips forward, upper body leans back, and turn your left foot out all the way. So if it needs to go a half an inch more, make sure it's parallel to the side of the mat. Two heels, one line, deep breath, bend your left knee and sit down. Bounce, bounce, bounce if you need to. Get your left thigh parallel to the floor. Again, hips forward, upper body back, lean back, open your arms, chest lift, spine straight in the center. Deep breath, move both arms. At the same time, left elbow in front of your left knee. Stretch the left hand down. Fingertips in between the big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. No pressure on the floor at the fingertips. Look to the ceiling, chin to your shoulder. Take a deep breath and stretch your right arm up. Left arm stretches down. Both arm shoulders stretch each other in opposite directions. Natural human traction. Bring your right hip forward with your elbow. Push your left knee back. Turn and twist your upper body spine. Twist right knee locked, right foot flat and change. Inhale, slowly come back up. So stay here. Now we're bringing that right foot in only about 12 inches. So you still have three feet distance inside of your heels. Yep. Arms over your head, palms together. Just cross your thumbs, stretch up, elbows locked, and then turn. Face the right side of the room and move your hips. One, two, three, four, five. Two hips in one line, two heels in one line, backside foot, 45 degrees. Take a deep breath. Tuck your chin to your chest. Exhale, round your spine. Look at your belly. Come down and put your forehead on the knee. Bend the knee if you need to. Touch your forehead. Stretch your fingertips forward beyond your toes. Keep your elbows straight. Press into the floor. Try to get the front knee locked. Chin stays with the chest, throat choke, breathing stays normal. Bring maximum weight to your front leg so your right hip shifts to the ceiling. Two hips in one line. Quickly try to lock your front knee a couple times at the end and change. Arms and ears together, slowly come back up. Turn, face the opposite side of the room and move your hips. One, two, three, four, five. Two hips in one line, two heels in one line, backside foot 45 degrees. Take a deep breath, tuck your chin to your chest and round your spine. So look at your belly button. It's a rounded spine as you come down, put your forehead on the knee. Bend the knee if you need to, but touch your forehead. Stretch your fingertips forward beyond your toes. Keep your elbows straight. Press into the floor. Try to get that front knee locked. Chin stays to the chest. Throat choke. Breathing stays normal. Bring maximum weight to your front leg. Left hip shifts to the ceiling. Two hips in one line. Quickly try to lock the front knee a couple times at the end. Arms and ears together. Slowly come back up. Face forward. Right foot back to the place, arms by your side. Relax and breathe. Second set, arms back over your head sideways and right leg steps to the right. Another big step, adjust things here for second set if you need to. So hands come down, palms flat, two heels in one line, feet slightly pigeon toed. Suck your stomach in, keep your chin forward all the time. Stretch your body forward, already rolling weight forward into your toes as you stretch all the way down with that nice flat back and grab your heels, grab the outsides of your feet. Keep your chin forward and both knees locked. Pull, stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor, roll forward and lock your knees. Pull on your heels and stretch your body down. Try to touch the forehead on the floor. 360 degrees stretching here. So from your hips down the backs of your legs to your heels, from your hips down your spine to your forehead. Bring your shoulders away from your ears. Continuously keep pulling. Pull on your heels. Roll forward, shoulders away from your ears and touch your forehead to the floor and change, arms up to the side, 
slowly come back up. Stay right there for your triangle. Hips forward, upper body leans back. And turn your right foot out all the way. Deep breath, bend your right knee and sink your hips low. Stay there. Hips forward, upper body back, spine straight in the center. Deep breath, move both arms at the same time. Right elbow directly in front of your right knee. Look to the ceiling, chin to the shoulder. Now take a deep breath, here we go. Stretch your left arm up, right arm stretches down. Both arm shoulders are stretching each other in opposite directions. Bring your left hip down and forward with your elbow. Push your right knee back, turn twist the upper body, left knee lock, left foot flat and change slowly come back up turn your right foot in hips forward upper body leans back and turn your left foot out all the way deep breath bend your left knee and sit down sink those hips low and stay there hips forward upper body back spine straight in the center deep breath move both arms at the same time now left elbow directly in front of your left knee stretch the left hand down one day fingertips in between the big and second toe look at the ceiling chin to shoulder here you go now take a deep breath and stretch your right arm up it stretches you lifting you to the ceiling left arm stretches down both arm shoulders are stretching inside each other opposite directions bring your right hip down and forward with your elbow push your left knee back turn to a seat upper body right knee lock right foot flat and change come back up very nice right foot comes in just about 12 inches so you have three feet inside the heel so just a foot shorter of a step here arms over your head palms together cross the thumb stretch up and turn to the right bringing your left hip forward make sure your back leg is nice and solid so two hips in one line Deep breath, tuck your chin to your chest and round your spine. So you gotta pull that belly in and round all the way down. Forehead on the knee. Bend your front knee if you need to, but make sure you're touching that forehead. Stretch your fingertips forward and press the fingertips into the floor. Suck your belly in more, round more forward. Shift your weight forward, right hip shifts up. Try to lock your front knee. Arms and ears together, slowly come up. Chin stays with the chest and you're rounding the spine. Left hip stays forward. And then turn, face the opposite side of the room. And bringing your right hip forward. Make sure that your back leg is solid. Bring the right hip forward, take a deep breath, tuck your chin to your chest and round all the way down. So really pull that belly all the way in as you round down. And forehead on the knee. You can bend the knee if you need to. Stretch your fingertips forward and press into the floor. So you're literally only on the fingertips. Press the floor away from you to create more space. Suck your belly in more, round more forward. Shift your weight forward. Left hip shifts up. Try to lock the front knee. Arms and ears together. Slowly come back up. Face the side wall. Turn face the front. Right foot back. Arms by your side. All right, tree pose and toe stand. So wherever you want to be here, back to where you where we started, or you can face um, your screen. So we're gonna do them together. We'll get into tree pose and then we'll go down into toe. So find your gaze, bring your right leg up, hold the foot from underneath with your left hand at the pinky toe side. But so we're all, we're bringing the foot up in front of the leg uh -huh, at the hip. Till the heel touches the costume, sole of the foot faces the ceiling. And then slowly, gently, that's it. Let the knee come down. Push your hips forward and gently push your right knee back. One day you get two knees in one line. Two hips in one line, stomach and stretch your spine up. Bring your right hand up to the center of your chest. If you can balance, bring your left hand up. Palms together. If the foot slips, just hold it. Left knee lock, thigh contracted. You can stay here or go into toe. Bring your gaze to four feet on the floor. Bend your body down and put 10 fingers on the floor in front of you. So just fold forward, keeping your standing leg straight. Just reach down and put your fingers on the floor in front of you. Very good. Bend your left knee, bring your hips down and sit on your heel. Still bringing that gaze just about four feet out in front of you. Walk your hands to both sides of the body, balancing on your fingertips. Two knees in one line parallel to the floor, stomach and spine stretches up. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. If you can balance here without moving, bring your right hand up. 
palms together, namaskar, stomach in, spine stretches up, concentrate, hold it there, breathe. And hands on the floor in front of you, push your hips all the way up. Oh, that was great, both of you, excellent. And then gently release your right leg down. That was good. Okay, other side, good job. <laughs> I can tell you're proud of yourself, very good. All right, other side. Bring your left leg up, hold the foot from underneath, so at the pinky toe side, and bring the heel all the way up to your hip bone. So the foot faces the ceiling, and then slowly, gently let that left knee come down. Push your hips forward, gently push your left knee back. Again, one day we get the two knees in one line, opening hips and pelvis here, two hips in one line, stomach and spine stretches up. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. If you can balance, bring your right hand up, palms together, foot flips, hold it. And then from here, we just fold forward, go right into toe. Hands on the floor, bend your right knee and bring your hips down. Sit on your heel, walk your hands to both sides of the body, balancing on the fingertips. Look at the gaze on the floor. Walk your hands to both sides of the body. Stomach in, spine stretches up. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. If you can balance without moving, bring your right hand up, palms together, namaskar. Stomach in, spine stretches up. Concentrate, hold it there, breathe. And then hands on the floor in front of you. Push your hips all the way back up. So weight in your hands as you push your hips up. That works too, all the way to the top. And then release. Do not skip the thank you part. Really give yourself a wonderful thank you for a beautiful standing series and enjoy your savasana. So lying on your back, you can do it however you want to here, either way, but just legs straight out in front of you, heels touch, feet full open, arms by your side. And we're gonna go get right in to our floor series. I know that Jeff has got his heat going, so he's sweating. Sarah, I hope you're generating some heat. Okay, good. Wind removing pose, beginning floor series. Bring your right leg up. Hold the leg two inches below the knee, 10 fingers interlocked. Get a good grip. Pull your knee to your shoulder, avoid the rib cage. Left leg stays straight, calf muscle touching the floor. So you're gonna bend your right knee and hold around sort of the shin, just below the knee, interlocking the fingers. Keep the head on the floor. Pull the knee to your shoulder, chin to your chest, neck flat, no gap underneath. Bring your elbows in and shoulders away from your ears. Pull harder on the right knee, feel a pinch in the right hip, pressure in the lower portion of your abdomen on the right hand side, eyes open. Breathe, relax your right leg down, and pick your left leg up. Hold the leg two inches below the knee, 10 fingers interlocked, get a good grip. Pull the knee to your shoulder, avoid your rib cage. Right leg stay straight, calf muscle touching the floor. Tuck your chin to your chest, neck flat, no gap. Elbows into the body and shoulders away from your ears. Pull harder on the knee, fill a pinch in the left hip. Pressure in the lower portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. Pull down, eyes open, breathe and bring your left leg down. And then both legs come up. Grab your elbows each other over your legs, two inches below the knees if possible. Super compact, keep your two feet side by side and in a relaxed position. Tuck your chin to your chest, neck flat, shoulders away from your ears. Keep your eyes open, your breathing always normal. Eventually in the future when you improve your skeletal system and the bone joints enough, your spine is going to lie perfectly flat on the floor. And change, slowly let your both legs come down. Heels touch, feet fall open, arms by your side. So we'll do our first sit up. Toes and heels touch. Flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor, arms over your head, only cross the thumbs. Take a deep breath and sit up. Exhale, breathing, grab your big toes, forward your knees, elbows to the floor. Please turn around, lie on your belly, spine strengthening series. So we're gonna do two postures together. We're gonna do cobra and go right into locus. Cobra pose, lie on your belly, chin forward. Get your hands underneath your shoulders. Very close to your chest. Fingertips in line with the tops of shoulders, baby fingers in line with your deltoids. Toes and heels touch, tops of the feet stay flat on the floor, leg muscles solid. Squeeze your elbows in to touch the body 
and shoulders down. Yep, take a deep breath, look to the ceiling, come up, please. Come up, use 100% back strength. Come up halfway until only the belly button is touching the floor. The rest of the upper body is in the air. Squeeze your elbows in to touch the body. Stretch your elbows to your hips, 90 degree angle, L. Drop your shoulders down, trapezius muscles visible, chin up, chest up. Look up, step, go up, more up. And change slowly, lower it down. Arms by your side, palms face down for locust pose. Get your arms underneath your body, elbows invisible. Two pinkies touch right side by side. Open your fingers and grab the floor with your fingertips, chin forward. Left leg relax it, right leg solid concrete, pointed toes. Take a deep breath and lift your right leg up from the floor. 45 degrees minimum, half of 90. Come up higher, a couple inches, keep that leg straight. Lock your knee, point your toes, lift more. Relax your right leg down. Left leg solid concrete, pointed toes. Take a deep breath and lift your left leg up from the floor. 45 degrees minimum, half of a 90, come up higher, couple of inches. Keep the leg straight, lock your knee, point the toes, lift more. Relax your left leg down. Tuck your chin to your chest, mouth flat. Readjust your hands, palms under the body and grab the floor with the fingertips, toes and heels touch, both legs solid. Take a deep breath without bending your knees, lift both legs up from the floor. Come up, keep your legs straight, legs together. Lock your knees, point your toes, struggle harder, don't give up, lift up and change, slowly lower it down. Arms out from underneath the body, left ear on the towel, face the right hand side of the room. Palms face up, just relax and breathe. So we're going to do a second set just like that one. So chin forward and then hands underneath your shoulders, palms flat, fingertips in line with the shoulders, baby fingers in line with your deltoids, chin forward, toes and heels touch, both legs solid, squeeze the elbows in toward each other behind you and shoulders down towards the fingernails. Take a deep breath, look to the ceiling and come up using one. 100% back strength. So you're only coming up until just the belly button is touching the floor. The rest of the upper body is in the air. That's it. Squeeze your elbows in to touch the body. Stretch the elbows to your hips, dropping your shoulders down. Trapezius muscles visible. Chin up, chest up. Look up, step, go up, more up. And change, slowly lower it down. Arms straight, palms flat. And get your arms underneath your body. So again, pinkies touch. See if you can't get everything a little closer, maybe elbows closer. Grab the floor with the fingertips. Chin forward, left leg relax it, right leg solid, concrete, point the right toes. Deep breath, lift your right leg up from the floor. Keep that leg straight. So take the bend out of your knee. Lock your knees, point your toes, lift more. Relax your right leg down. Left leg solid, concrete, pointed toes. Take a deep breath, lift your left leg up from the floor. Come up, keep that leg straight. Lock the knee, point the toes, lift more. Relax the left leg down. Tuck your chin to your chest, mouth flat. Readjust the hands, palms, grab the floor with the fingertips. Both knees locked and lift both legs up from the floor. Come up, keep your legs straight, legs together. Gather, struggle harder, knees locked, don't give up, lift up and change, slowly lower it down. Gorgeous, arms out from underneath the body, now right ear on the towel, face the left hand side of the room. Now locus, full locus and bow. Arms out to the side like airplane wings, palms flat, all five fingers touch, elbows locked, chin forward, toes and heels touch, leg muscles nice, tight, thighs contracted, one leg, don't open it. Take a deep breath and lift everything, body, leg, chest, head, everything up from the floor, 747, taking off, bring your arms up, arms back. Fingertips in line with the top of the head, only your hip bones on the floor, the rest of the body in the air. Chest up, chest up, chest up, go up five. Exhale, breathing, come up one more time. And slowly lower it down. Bow pose, bend your knees and grab your feet. Two inches below the toes, all five fingers touch. No more than six inches inside the knees or the toes. Keep your wrist straight and point your toes. Deep breath, look up and go up, kick up and kick back. 
Kick your legs behind you. Continuously keep kicking. Don't stop kicking. Roll forward. Two feet in the center from the side. Bring your knees together more. Wrist straight. Point your toes. Head up. Kick up. Look up. Stay up. Go up. More up. And change. Slowly lower it down. Left ear on the towel. Face the right hand side of the room. Arms by your side. Palms face up. And breathe. Second set, arms back out to the side like airplane wings, palms flat. Make sure those fingers are tight, squeeze them. Chin forward, elbows locked, toes and heels touch, leg muscles solid. Take a deep breath and lift everything. Body, leg, chest, head, everything up from the floor. 747 jumbo jet. Bring your arms up, arms back. Fingertips line with the top of the head, only hip bones on the floor, the rest of the body in the air. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Go up, flap, exhale, breathing, come up one more time. And slowly lower it down. Go pose. Bend your knees. Grab your feet from the outside. Again, two inches below the toes. Get a good grip. Make sure your chin is forward. No more than six inches inside the knees or the toes. Take a deep breath. Look up. Go up. Kick up and kick back. Kick your legs behind you. Continuously keep kicking. Don't stop kicking. Roll forward. Two feet in the center. Knees together more. Wrist straight. Point the toes. Head up. Kick up. Look up. Step. Go up. More up. And change, slowly lower it down. Right ear on the towel, face left. All right, hands on the floor, push yourself up and come all the way to the top of your mat. Sitting down Japanese style for fixed firm, knees together. Open your heels. Put your hips on the floor, inside of your heels. Hips on the floor, heels touch the outsides of your hips. Hips and heels touch the whole time. You can open the knees if you need to. Palms to your toes, thumbs inside, fingers outside. With the helps of your elbows, lower yourself back. Right elbow, left elbow, one by one, then the top of the head, back of your head, you're on top of the shoulders. Once the upper body is down, grab your elbows each other over your head and then pull your elbows down. Tuck your chin to your chest and lift your chest and stomach up towards the ceiling, creating a perfect human bridge. We're only doing one set of this. Eventually in the future, you can bring your knees back together here. One day they'll touch. Never let the knees come off the floor. So keep your eyes open and breathe. Very gently, palms back to your toes. Keep your head relaxed with the help of your elbows. Slowly come back up. Turn around, relax on your back, Savasana. And then we're back to our sit-ups. Toes and heels touch, flex your feet. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs. Deep breath and sit up, double jerk, double exhale. Grab your big toes, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. All right, so we're gonna do half tortoise and camel together. So sitting at the back of your mat and towel, again, Japanese style, knees together, heels together, hips on your heels throughout the posture. Bring your arms over your head sideways, palms together, only crossing the thumbs, so prayer position. Stretch up, elbows locked. Chin up, suck your stomach in and stretch your body forward. Chin forward, look forward, stretch forward and put your forehead on the floor. Then little baby pinky fingers touch, elbows locked, arms straight and in the air. Slide your fingertips forward and stretch your hips back. Stretch forward out of your shoulder blades. Keep your chin forward, stretch forward, hips back. Elbows locked, arms and ears together and slowly come back up. Arms by your side. We're going to stand on the knees now to come up for camel. So on the knees, open the knees, six inches inside the knees, six inches inside of your feet. Palms to your hips, thumbs outside, fingertips face down. Take a deep breath, push your hips forward and gently let your head go back. Upper body goes back halfway, stop in the middle. Then only right hand down, grab your right heel, thumb outside, fingers inside. Left hand down, grab your left heel, thumb outside, fingers inside. Get a nice tight, full hands, palms grip. Don't lose the grip. Take a deep breath and push. Stomach, legs, hips, everything push forward towards the mirror. Push more, push harder. Keep pushing. 360 degree angle backward bending against gravity. Hips forward, chest lifts. 
palms to the hips, hips forward, chest lift, spine straight. And then turn around, relax on your back, the vasana. Really good job. Second set, toes and heels touch, flex your feet, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, deep breath and sit up. Double jerk, double exhale, grab your big toes, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. Please turn around, second set. So we're doing the half tortoise first, sitting Japanese style, hips on the heels. Bring your arms over your head sideways, palms together. Again, the whole palm is together. So no interlocked fingers. This one, the palm is like a prayer position and thumb crossed. Yep, stretch up, chin up. Suck your stomach in and stretch forward out of your shoulders all the way down. Chin forward, stretch forward. Forehead touches, little baby pinkies touch. Elbows locked, arms straight. So only the knife edge of your pinky fingers are on the floor. Now stretch forward and stretch your hips back. Looks great. Keep your chin forward, stretching your body opposite directions natural human traction stretch forward hips back elbows locked arms and ears together slowly come on back up arms by your side and again on the knees for a second set camel open the knees now maybe a little bit wider if you would like eight to ten inches six inches inside the feet palms to your hips Thumbs outside, fingertips face down, take a deep breath, push your hips forward and gently let your head go back. Upper body goes back halfway, eyes open, breathe. Right hand down, left hand down, grab your heels. Thumb outside, fingers inside. Take a deep breath, push, stomach, legs, hips, everything push forward, push more, push harder, keep pushing. 360 degree angle, backward bending, hips forward, chest lifts. Now palms to the hips, very gently, hips forward first, chest lift, spine straight, and then bring your hips to your heels, turn around, relax on your back, Savasana. Those both gorgeous. Alrighty, let's do a sit up, toes and heels touch, flex your feet, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, deep breath and sit up. Double jerk, double exhale, grab your big toes, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. All righty. Now we are doing one set of rabbit and we'll go into separate leg head to knee with stretching. Sitting at the back of your mat in towel, flip the towel over your, Japanese style, flip the towel over your feet and grab your heels over the towel. So it's okay if you don't have a towel. It's Japanese style, you're gonna grab your heels from the outside. From behind you, thumb outside, fingers inside. Take a deep breath, tuck your chin to your chest and round all the way down. Look at your belly and touch your forehead to the knees. Automatically top of the head touches the floor. Pull on your heels and lift your hips up as high as possible. Elbows locked, arms straight and in the air. If there is a gap between your knee and your forehead, walk your knees forward one by one until they touch. Chin to your chest, throat choke, breathe. Belly to your spine and lift your hips. Make sure you're stretching your spine. Cock six to the neck. Pull on your heels and lift your hips. Gently bring your hips down. Slowly head rolls up and then bring your legs out in front of you for separate leg stretching. Right leg comes out to the right corner wise. Bring your left leg really high on the inner thigh and create pressure there. Bring your arms over your head sideways, turn to the right and grab two inches below your toes. Ten fingers interlock, get a good grip. Pull on your toes as hard as possible, heel comes up. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach and touch your forehead to your knee. Bend the knee if you need to, touch your forehead. Bend your elbows down to the floor beside the calf muscles, rolling into the left. Left elbow down, left shoulder down. Push your right knee down, use the weight of your forehead. And change, come back up. Left leg out, right leg in. Press really high on the inner thigh with that right foot. Arms over your head, turn to the left and grab two inches below your toes. 10 fingers interlocked, get a good grip. Pull on your toes, heel comes up, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach and forehead to the knee. Bend the knee if you need to. Bend your elbows down, rolling into the right, to shoulder, side by side, relaxed position. Push your left knee down, use your forehead. And change. Come back up, both legs out in front. Be careful of what might be behind you. Lie back and do a quick sit up. Double jerk, double exhale. Grab your big toes, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. Middle and index finger, you're making a hook around your big toe. 
in between the big and second toe, make a hook. Pull on your toes, lift your chest and walk your hips back 10 to 15 times, right and left, right and left, right and left. Get the hips behind you and your legs straight, lock your knees. Pull on your toes, lift your chest and bend your elbows. Stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Keep your chin forward. Look forward, stretch forward, pull harder, keep pulling, touch your forehead to your toes. And change. Turn around, relax on your back, Savasana. All right, toes and heels touch, flex your feet, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, deep breath and sit up. Double jerk, double exhale, grab your big toes, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. Spine twist, face however you would like. Bend your left leg. Your left heel touches the outside of your right hip. Right foot comes over the left knee corner. Keep the right foot down so the hip stays on the floor so that will keep your spine straight. Bring your left arm up over your knee. Push the knee aside, turn your wrist and grab your left knee in front of you. So your right knee is up, Sarah, and your left foot is over beside of your right hip. So that left heel, bring it underneath your right leg. Or you can do that way and then you do the other way the next time. Yep. And you can just bring your right arm up now and over your knee. Yeah, push the knee aside. Awesome. Continuously stretch the spine up. Bring your left arm all the way around. Grab the inner thigh or just keep pressing on the floor behind you. Take a deep breath. Stretch up and look over your right shoulder. Chin over your shoulder. You're looking way, way back. Turn and twist your spine top to bottom. Turn, twist, twist, and twist and change on twist. Let's do the other side. So now Sarah, just do the opposite thing, okay? Yeah, that's good. So right knee bends, left foot comes over, sit the spine nice and tall. Right arm over the knee with your elbow, push the knee aside, turn your wrist and grab your knee in front of you. Continuously stretch your spine up. Bring your left arm all the way around. Grab the inner thigh with the fingertips or just keep pressing on the floor to keep the spine straight. Take a deep breath, stretch up and look over your left shoulder. Chin over your shoulder, turning and twisting your spine, top to bottom, turn, twist, twist, last chance, twist. And change, untwist. We can do one final sit up, so lie on your back, Savasana. Toes and heels touch, flex your feet, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, deep breath and sit up. Double jerk, double exhale, grab your big toes, forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. All right, final breathing exercise. Couple of body breathing, sitting down Japanese style. So keep the spine nice and tall, belly relaxed. Hands on top of the knees, elbows locked. We'll do one set, we'll start slow and then we'll get faster. Lick your lips, swallow, and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Wonderful job. I'm going to unmute you. We got it in. You guys okay? <laughs> Jeff, are you alive? <laughs> I'm alive. I swim alone now. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Excellent.